Welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and we're gonna do some more Pokemon Legends Arceus. And we have our Cyndaquil, our trusty partner here with us, and we're about to take a Clarion in a battle, so she can get uh, her Pikachu to trust her more. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. So she's going to try to test out her battling skills versus us now. So please have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight efficiently. I guess. Since we have nothing better to do. Alright. Akari sends out Pikachu. And let's see how we fare against this thing. Oh, I could run around. Okay, let's go ahead and do a strong style attack. Ooh, that almost takes out the Pikachu. But Thunder shocks us now, so we still have a chance to be paralyzed. I'm gonna go for the agile hit, maybe we get two hits off. Oh yeah, we get another hit. So now we're gonna go strong style to finish this thing off. And down goes the Pikachu. Easy as that. Battle decided. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Dang right, lady. Ooh, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment, I felt like the Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Nah. Pika! Guess I was wrong then. But I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner, the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gap. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have the things called types which apparently make a big difference in how battles go Pikachu seems to be an electric type for example and then it shows you the type charts oh look at this lady the name Zizu captain of the security corps I see you've got some fight in you figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could Captain Zizu is a master of ancient martial arts, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon truly mastered its moves, it can use them in different styles. Strong, hand, agile. And we just showed that off, so we don't need the explanation there. So, yeah. Strong styles makes you hit harder, but you might not move the next turn. Uh, agile, you can potentially use two moves in the same thing, like we did. So, there's that. Alright, so Akari is going to go meet up with that girl. Well, with the master. from Or Mai. And we got to go meet up with her as well. So, I don't think we need any battle training tips right now. Let's just go ahead and continue on with the story. Alright guys, so how do y'all feel about this game so far? I'm kind of enjoying it. I've been playing it on my own time. I'm a little ahead of this at the moment. Uh, clearly, we're going to go step by step on what's going on here. I'm not going to cheat and <laughs> go ahead of y'all with that. But... I've liked this game so far. It's really exciting, different way to play Pokemon. I mean, yeah, it's just a bunch of uh, catching wild Pokemon, battling wild Pokemon, but it's cool in a way. I like it. I'm enjoying it. It puts a new spin on catching Pokemon. Boo! Did I surprise you? I bet I did. 
I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see? It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. If you're part of the survey course now, work to create that Pokedex as they all are. You might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know, I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Oh, is that, uh, is that, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Alright, so he needs a mushroom. So, we'll, we'll, we'll look for a mushroom. Hopefully we can find it and give it to this guy. Uh, this lady. Dee -lee 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 whoop. Uh, her. That marvelous rich tone. How is it produced? I must know. Oh, okay. Uh, Krikatot. There we go. She needs us to complete the Pokedex on Krikatot, which is going to take a while. So, uh, you might, you might just want to sit back and relax, sweetheart, because that's going to take a minute. Okay. I know we don't have any. Do we have a mushroom so we can give this guy? We picked up a lot of stuff yesterday. But sadly, no mushroom. So let's just go ahead and move on. Go to the marker. See what our Pokedex is looking like. Okay, so we hit 15 on Quick Attack. Uh, we need to use a bunch of strong style moves. We need to use Ember a couple times. So let's just go ahead and start that process. So this will be a little repetitive, but it'll be good for. So guys, how far in are y'all in the game, and what do y'all like about it the most? Like uh, Pokemon one. Like not gameplay wise. Like what Pokemon are you most excited to see? Like any of the new forms? Have y'all been able to use any of the new forms? Oh look. And we have uh, two Pokemon that are able to evolve already. So I'm going to do that. Enjoy some Mighty Fine Evolution. Hopefully it's, uh, you know, the two different ones, not just both of them. Thing. All right. We got a Silcoon. Now we need a Cascoon. All right, Wormful, do your thing. Evolve into a Cascoon. Make life easier on me. It is a Cascoon. Oh, what is the luck? We got both of them on the same thing. How lucky can we get? All right, so now we have basically all different kinds of Pokemon now. All right, let's go ahead and hit it with an ember attack. Hopefully it doesn't attack because I think a, a rollout will kill us. Oh, oh, okay, it's surprised because we hit it in the back. All right, so that worked out in our favor. So let's just try to do that. Hit, uh, whatever they're called, Bidoof in the back, so. They're too nervous to battle us. Okay, didn't run away, so we get to use Ember. I'm going to try to knock out all the Embers that we have to use. Okay, cool. Didn't kill. So, Ember attack on you. Crazy how we get rollout on Cyndaquil, though. That's, I don't think that's normal. I don't think he normally gets that move. But, you know, it could work out in our favor. Uh, fire type with the rock type move. I know we need some berries and apricots and apricorn. Can of corn. Can of corn and I'll be fine. Can of corn. 
don't look at me. You see nothing. Turn away. Turn away. Fuck it. Let's do it. Hopefully we surprise it enough. Alright. Ember attack. We're gonna try to complete all of our embers in this little area. I want to master that move. Okay, let's look at the Pokedex, see how we're ranking now. Okay, so we've used Ember plenty of times, so we don't need to use it anymore. We don't have to use it anymore, but you know. Uh, just in case we need to. Uh, we still don't have Flame Well yet, or anything like that, so. Can't do nothing with that. Uh, we need to use Strong Style moves and Edge Style moves a couple more times. Specifically nine times for the Strong moves. Alright, Galaxy member, let me pass. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first... Oh! You're at your first rank. Congratulations. You don't completely suck now. Go on ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. And again, guys, sorry for the quality of my stream. My internet's crappy, but at least it's not so bad where y'all can't watch it. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to help. I am. I am one of the wardens of Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem. I need help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you lead your Pokemon in battle? I guess I do. That's good to hear. The security corps of Yuri certainly wasn't up to task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Dang, she said we have little balls. Watch and learn. <laughs> you made fun of my balls. Alright, go send a quill. Out of my balls. Alright, let's get some uh, agile moves going. Oh, roll out. Oh good, because that could have swept my team. Alright, let's Ember and try to get a burn. Whoa, yeah, better back up. Hi! Alright, so Rollout really hurt. Everyone we have is weak to rock. Fuck it, let's fight. Agile move. If we're gonna go down, we're going down swinging. Ooh, and we're going down. There was no swing in there. Alright, fodder Pokemon. We, we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to heal up our uh, Cyndaquil if we can. Ooh, we don't have no revives or nothing. So we're stuck battling here. Let's just go for the poison thing. Alright, cool, it's poison. Uh oh. It's going strong style rollout. No mercy from the Munchlax. But at least Munchlax finally goes down. 
Battle has been decided. Come on. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well, well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Alright, cool. So she heals us up. And I'll let you have these. Titties? No, I'm just kidding. These what? You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful material. Ooh, Vivichokes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather than like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories of to our children. Whoa, you have children? How old are you, my? I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon cause causing trouble upon Deer Tracks Heights. Ooh. It is a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you, to Deer Track Heights? I don't see why not. God told me to go, so I'm going. My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of the those Galaxy Team conventions I keep hearing about? Sure, let's go with that. I'm not a witch. The witch hunt is over. It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there, I know it. So much talking in this game. It seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps new one. So, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about the Almighty Senno? Nope. I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time, flow, and land of Hisui was born in the process. It's based, it's by the grace of the Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate. Oh, that's a big word for Pokemon. Almighty Seno. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Seno has only rarely been seen by any human if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Seno, and in the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored to you. It is directly descendant from the Pokemon that was blessed. We Almighty Sinnoh protection. We owe Almighty Sinnoh's protection? I don't know. Uh, follow me and you may understand. Alright, we'll follow her in a little bit. I need to catch some fucking man, man, man. You're mine. And I think that's our first Krikatot. Nice. Let's stock up on some items. Gotta keep them separated. -na 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 -na. Whoa, who's, who sees me? Oh, stay away. Strong style. Let's go quick attack. Probably getting messed up by an aqua jet, though. Oh, they didn't even do a lot. Oh, cool. Oh, that was regular. I meant to click uh, strong style. I need to fill up that Pokedex with those moves. So Puzo goes down. And it's cool that we get stuff for beating wild Pokemon too.
Can I throw out more than one Pokemon at a time? Look at that. <laughs> all right, they all came back to me, I hope. They talked to me. This is where we drowned yesterday. Trying to trying to uh, swim across and <laughs> that did not work. When is that Basculin ride Pokemon? Oh, Shinx took the Aqua Jet. Uh oh. Let's go for Thunder Shot. Oh, almost an Oko. We paralyzed it though. Paralyzed can't move. Let's go for a bite. I know that's on the Pokedex. I'm liking Shing so far. I might, I might add it to the team. Not sure yet though. Thank you for the follow. I'm not sure who. Oh my god. I'm not sure who it was just at this moment. But thank you. And oh my god. I need to I need to pay, pay attention. Okay, uh this is not gonna be good. Run away, run away, run away! Well, we're drowning. Oh, it murdered us. We just got murdered because of this thing. All right. Well, that was a scary... Uh... That was, that was a scary turn of events. <clears throat> Ooh, we can make a revive. Alright. Because we need one. Our Pokemon is painted. Alright, Chinks. Alright, note to self. Don't come back around this area again. Also, I noticed that the healing items in this game, you actually get um, more, more health from items. So like normally orange berries are 10, and orange berries in this game are, uh, what the hell? Excuse me. The orange berries in this game are 20. So it's like what a potion usually is. Potions are 60 now when they used to be 20 or 40 or something like that. I'm gonna kill all these birds. Stupid birds. Oh my god. Now that's a powerful Starly. I guess we'll just have to send out Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil needs the levels anyway. Strong shot. We also need that too. No, oh, Starly, you ran, you killed my Pokemon and then ran away. That's a bitch move. Uh, waste of a Pokeball. All right, well then. I 
I need to craft some Pokeballs real quick. Ooh, 49. I'm going to make all the Pokeballs I can. Turn around. I need to make it easier to catch you. Do you notice me? Is that what this is? Are you aware? Shut up. Yelling at me. Stay in the ball. There we go. I have caught a chill dude. I am a Pokemon master now. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, mud ball. Whatever that is. Sure, something I could throw at Pokemon. Matumbo. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I was trying to throw the mud ball. Remember to press X. Yeah, I got discouraged. I whacked him in the face. Holy moly. There's a hurricane over there. There's a hurricane over there. <clears throat> All right. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. He is running. <clears> Who? <throat> thank goodness. I've got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha. Now could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine as long as you stay out of the way. This is Gear Track Heights. This is where I've come. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to special Pokemon and Pokemon descendants from special Pokemon. Oh, wait, from one of the ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Okay, there we go. I just can't read. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker. Here to disturb the peace with its racket. Uh oh. Is they drive. Fury. And that's why you're here, Joe. To drive the in interloper from this place. <clears throat> I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Thank you. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are fit across the land if they're all oversized like this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They are strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with. Let me tell you, nevertheless, I believe you're stronger still than this alpha. So go show it that beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Joe. Size is potent weapon in, in a, of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If, if you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Well, I'm already in front of the thing. It's not like I have much of a choice now, do I? That is an awesome cry, though. You gotta give him that. Go, 
Santa Quill. Lee, 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 lee. Whoop. Wow, it didn't even let me attack. Alright, let's go for an agile move. Maybe we'll get a strong move too. Okay, strong style. Alright, we got it almost to half. Aerial Ace is obviously gonna take us out. You monster! Alright, Shinx. Aerial Ace won't hurt you. Let's go ahead. I don't have another revive. But, so, Cyndaquil's not gonna get any EXP from this battle. I'm gonna go Thundershock here. So far, so good on, on damage. Oh my god. Alright, we need a strong style hit. Oh, that did less than Thundershock. False swipe? False swipe ain't gonna kill me. Let's go for the thunder shot. False swipe always leaves you on one HP, so that was kind of a stupid move on his part. All right, so we are all leveled up, and our two Pokemon can evolve. Ooh, that's gonna be snazzy. You really are impressive, one, aren't you? Seeing someone best an alpha like that. Ooh, we're good. Excuse me. It truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. We best make sure the Pokemon are taken care of after facing such a foe. Thank you. Again. <gasps> What's that? What in the world? It's weird, dear. It's the great weird ear. He looks upon you with kindness, Joe. Probably because I saved him, saved his land. I'd say the great weird ear is taking a liking to you. This is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it? Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. What? How old is Alola? When does that game take place? Because they've had ride Pokemon since forever ago, apparently. Professor Lavington, Joe. Oh. Captain Silence hit me. She said once Joe carried out his request, we'd be able to uh, set up base camp. Ah, about that. Uh, I know this is a joint decision by Ad Adaman and uh, Commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up uh, more base camp like this. The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as you go is to coexist and thrive together with Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed to do so. The Great Weird Ear has taken a liking to Joe as well. That's a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll uh I'll come to show my appreciation with the proper reward as soon as I can. Thank you, May. Or my my May my my May. My me my me. Alright, if we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with some 
completing the Pokedex. Damn right, Akari. Anyway, we should be able to have the best camp set up once the construction corpse arrives. All right, we got another base camp. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Tracks Heights. I call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can be escorted to base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp starts to start from will be a great help on our surveys. No, really? Nice work today, everyone. We'll say we head back to the Wallflower. Alright, I didn't catch much Pokemon this time around. But we still got we still got paid. We still got paid. We still got paid. Oh. Alright, so five more strong moves and eleven more agile moves, and we'll be good to go. Then we'll just need a uh, flame wheel. Benny, old chum, usual Moshi, and all three of us today. Basically what he said. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumors ended up mauling some of the galaxy folk who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps have had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. They're dead! Uh, this is the cleaver that was reported struck by lightning, right? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Joe here can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver's so mighty, even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. No, no. You forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty to bound to research. Are duty bound to research. And since this perilous, per, uh, big words for Pokemon, man, I swear. Perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique. Okay. I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. I don't know if it's I'm tired or I just can't read. But it's, it's probably a combination of the two. The next day. Good morning, Joe. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. Yeah, I don't want to get yeeted again. Well, was I not wearing shoes when I was in my room? I go test that. I gotta go test that again. There you are. Let's hurry up to headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realized you're wasting al almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. Oh, wow. There you go again. Insisting our false image of almighty Sinnoh as the ruler of time. My people follow the true almighty Seno, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ha, huh. you could you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make a vast Hisui space? Get it? He's he's the he's the diamond clan and uh that uh, brilliant diamond, whatever the fuck that thing's name is, and then she's brilliant pearl, and then that Pokemon's based on spit the the space, and the ones on time. It all comes together. Better than some, it's a miracle you show up on time. Oh, mighty leader of the Pearl Clan, I worried 
you'd get lost in that pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pro Clan? In our world's very basis? You wish. I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. She doesn't make up already. Jesus Christ. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the re re reverence for space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on about time, Ad Adaman, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond and Pearl Clans gradually coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. You damn right, girl. You don't want to keep that man waiting. He'll sumo me across the room. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I wish I didn't yawn so much. Okay, here we go. That's a side mission we just took on. Yoit! 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 Yeah, I like doing that. Yoit! Yoit! Ooh, Eevee! Whoa! Maybe we ought to build some spare lodgings in the case anyone else falls out of the sky. Ha! Ah, hilarious! Don't make fun of me because I fell out of the sky. I'm the second coming of Jesus Christ myself. Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I would... I'm looking for a pickling stone. You see? Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to fit the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to fit to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Hmm. But I suppose it would be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift itself up actually. Oh, I've got a rather great idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives in Deer Track Heights. It would, be the per it would do the perfect job. Could you catch one and bring it to me? Yeah, I'll go get you one right after I talk to the commander. Oh, I have three Jill dudes. Yeah, I have plenty to give. So much reading. What do you intend to do about that cleaver, commander? Kamado? He might... He may be descendants from the warriors of Almighty Seno, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do got the right you do get right to the point, Adamant. The time's wasted is lost. Well to me, you what would you have us do? Cleaver is precious is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point! My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honorable nobles? I don't believe I said that. The thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I like to know that myself. This is the first as far as my clan knows, too. 
Hmm. I see you arrived. Oh, hmm. I see you arrived. This is Joe, our newest member of the Survey Corps. Haha. -ha. I hear that my, you earned a weird ear's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's just a mouthful, so just call me Adamant. And uh, I think it was like an Adamant Orb makes a uh, Dialga boost power. And I think she's named after the orb that gives uh, Falkia its power. So that's pretty cool. If you come from beyond space-time rift, could you be from space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? Anything's possible, sweetheart. I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really be could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what we must be what's what must be done? You send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver, this newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader is a matter of experience. It's about a matter of embracing Hasui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. You said it yourself. Congratulations, you played yourself. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid a chance. I'm sold. Commander, let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll go... I'll, uh, I'll get to see how you galaxy folk really are. With all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in the strange balls and what have you. The whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh has made... His who is so vast, Pokemon can live freely through it. Or throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control. Our Pokemon only... Oh. There's a period there. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Joe. I order you go study Cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation. I don't really feel like it. Remember that you're a stranger who appeared out of one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the bone. Bad to the bone. Do, 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 the frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Right, so basically, he's like, there's no time like the present. And she's like, you got that right. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interloopers. But it mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clan. Understand us? Alright, so chop the heads off. Got it. Join me downstairs, Joe. We'll go over the details of the new mission. Yeah, I, I figured it was, I thought it was pretty simple. I'm actually going to stop streaming right now because I am tired. For some reason, I don't know. Well, I did stay up really late. But still. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here, guys. I'll probably... Uh, I'll probably stream tomorrow for sure. Uh, probably longer and hopefully the internet's not being stupid like it is now. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.